was so relaxed up there. I just felt like I was floating in my own world and the scenery was absolutely incredible. For me, it was like you weren't even moving. It was like you were floating. It was just gorgeous. And I wasn't a bit frightened at all. It's the first time I've ever been up in a air balloon and I loved it. It's kind of hard to explain it, really. It's kind of an unreal feeling. It's not like you're flying. I love it when people get it, you know. They understand the joy that I get out of it and just the, the slow pace of it. It's not like bungee jumping. It's not like skydiving. It's so much slower and a far less adrenaline raising. It's actually the opposite. It's more relaxing, it's serene. I got started because my father actually, he got into ballooning way back in 1982. So I'm second generation balloonist. So it became the family hobby uh, for a few years uh, before it became the family business in 1986. So uh, yeah, basically grown up with it since I was uh, almost 11 years old. Next generation, uh, my daughter's 11 at the moment, my son's nine, but they're really keen, particularly my daughter. She really, really wants to learn to fly and follow in old pa's footsteps and my footsteps. The reason why I love ballooning so much is because as soon as you leave the ground, you are a part of the atmosphere, you're a bubble in the atmosphere, you do exactly what the atmosphere is doing. Now you're dealing with something that's invisible. I've got good height control, so as I go up, I'll catch a different wind. Could be a different direction, different speed, and that's how I'd manoeuvre the balloon through the air. Being in an open wicker basket, you're not separated from the environment around you. Sometimes I'll drop down low over the, the vines when there's a group of pruners in there, and uh, you can just call over the side of the basket, good morning, how you going? This is my passion, this is what I love, it's more than a business to me and I just feel like I'm so privileged to be able to share that experience with my customers. I really get a kick out of it when they see what I see, you know, and they appreciate what I appreciate. We got picked up and we ventured out, tested the wind. Justin put a balloon up and it looked like to me like an ordinary balloon. He shone a light on it and watched how the balloon was travelling and that was going to determine the best departure spot. We drove to a paddock that was full of cows everywhere <laughs> and then they got the basket off the truck. The balloon came out and then a giant fan. Blowing the balloon up was incredible, just seeing how it was done. The liftoff just, it didn't even feel like anything. It's not like an aeroplane or anything else yeah. that I've ever been in. It was just so soft and all of a sudden you were just in the sky. It was floating. I, I expected the rising to be fast. It was just very gradual. You didn't even realise you were up off the ground. The mist was absolutely beautiful. Couldn't have picked it. And then the, the sunrise coming up. There's a bit of fog and a bit of mist about, a few roos jumping about and there's some foxes and 
just like low level to the ground, just so peaceful, calm. Mm. Didn't feel like there's a gust of wind or just floating, like you're actually a balloon yourself. Yeah, really, really, really enjoyed it. Oh, apart from the, uh, the noise of the burner, just the silence way up there. I think they're really, really surprised about a few things, just how smooth it is and how safe they feel and the whole sensation of height. They just don't get it. It's not the same standing on top of a ladder or at the edge of a cliff or a tall building or something like that. It really, really surprises a lot of people that they just don't get that same sensation of height. It's not a scary thing to do at all. At the beginning, I originally, when he said about how the balloon was controlled by the winds or thermals or whatever, so I said to him, well, does that mean you've got no control over it? <laughs> and he reassured me then that he does. I found it really incredible how he could track our heights and speeds. The landing was pretty exciting yeah, the too. Was exciting. Yeah, yeah, it was a perfect landing as well. Thank you. We packed up the whole balloon, which was really cool. So they laid it all out and then we each grabbed a section of it to put it back in what seemed like a very tiny bag, but <laughs> we were just stuffing this giant balloon into this bag. Like was... a massive sleeping bag. Yeah, it felt like you were wrapping up a giant sleeping bag. Yeah. Food was incredible. Local yeah. produce. Champagne breakfast, really. Beautiful fruits and nice fresh bread. It was good lovely. Cheese. Yeah, yeah mm. excellent. Prosper Adventures, they've done a really good job. Real professional. Um, and yeah, I'll be definitely be back and doing it over and again. It's definitely something you wouldn't want to miss out on doing, especially on a perfect day like we had today. It was absolutely gorgeous. And the heights wasn't an issue. Completely different feeling to anything that gives you a massive mm. adrenaline rush or anything like that was yeah, amazing. Definitely. Seeing Barossa like from a view like that, you would never see it like that with any other experience. Once in a lifetime experience definitely. Yeah. You've got to see it for yourself. Like mm. yeah. If I could go up now I'd go again yeah. right now. <laughs> Why fly with Barossa Balloon Adventures? Well, safety record is number one. We have a 100% safety record. We do it with a smile on our face and a, a good sense of humour, uh, so you will have a good time. But at the end of the day, if I can have all my passengers leave with big smiles on their face and be able to recommend me to anyone, say that was fantastic, what more can I do? You know, that's the ultimate aim.